Hi, this is Jane Does Keto. Getting ready for a 30-day challenge to rid ourselves of carbs, sugar, and alcohol, packaged foods, and start to get in radiant health. And whether you have weight to lose or not, keto definitely is the way to go to make you feel great inside and out. So today we're going to talk a little about supplementation. And I've done a lot of research and found some supplements that I think really may help you in your quest to, you know, get into better health and, f and feel great. So the first thing is I do sometimes take a protein shake, uh, not every day. And what I find is that some people that I am in contact with on keto take it as a snack. I don't have snacks. Uh, I think it is best not to have snacks because anytime you're eating, even a small amount, it's raising your insulin level. So if you want to use it as a meal replacement, you can do so. And the two that I recommend are the Dimatized ISO 100 Whey Protein Powder. It is 25 grams of protein, only a half gram of fat, one gram of carbs, and 120 calories. The ISO Pure is very similar in what uh, its nutritional content is, being 25 grams of protein, a uh, half a gram of fat, one carb, and 110 calories. So a little bit less calories. What I have found is that just taking those is not enough. You need to also have a fat. So when I have a protein shake, I'll either use the protein shake and have maybe an half an avocado on the side, or some people mix it right into the protein shake. The other thing is I will use, and you'll see it at the bottom of the screen, the Perfect Keto brand MCT Oil Powder. So there's MCT oil and there's powder. What is MCT? It is medium chain triglycerides. And what that actually is, is the outside covering of the coconut. So it is almost a perfect fat. And I find that the powder is easier for me to assimilate. But certainly a lot of people use the MCT oil in their coffee or tea or in a protein shake. But as you can see, the Perfect Keto brand, which is the one that I, I feel is easiest on the, the gut, it has, for just one scoop, seven grams of fat, which is very good. Not a lot of calories, 70 calories. And of course, on keto, we don't count calories. We don't count sizes or anything like that. And two carbs. So I throw that in the protein, whey protein shake. I use the MCT oil powder with one of the whey protein shakes. And the thing that I have been moving towards is the vital proteins, collagen peptides. So I use two scoops of that, and that gives you 20 grams of collagen which as you probably know is great for the hair, the nails, uh, obviously strengthens your bones. 18 grams of protein with 70 calories. What I've started doing is using the collagen, getting 20 grams of collagen out of two scoops and throwing a half a scoop of whey protein powder in. So you're getting quite a bit of protein um, and then once you put the MCT oil powder in, you're also getting some fats. Or you could have an avocado on the side, or a few nuts, or a small piece of cheese, something like that. Other supplements that I can recommend that have been highly effective for me are the Bragg Organic Apple Cider Vinegar, also called ACV. It smells terrible, and when you first taste it, it doesn't taste great. But what happens is it's such a miracle product that it, it actually changes the gut. So for most people, we actually don't have enough 
acidity in our gut. And so that makes, you know, uh, uh, kind of manufacturing um, our foods and things more difficult. But if you take um, maybe four to six ounces of water, mix in one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar um, and a little fresh lime or lemon, specifically lemon, I would say is even better. Um, mix it up and have that first thing in the morning. You will, it will make you feel great. Uh, I'm up to about two and a half tablespoons and sometimes even have that uh, after dinner before I go to sleep to help kind of, you know, create an acid in the stomach to make it uh, easier to sleep. Um, the Nature's Way Organic MCT Oil, that is simply uh, an MCT oil I have used. You can use that to make kind of an oil vinaigrette on a salad. You can use it in cooking and you can throw it in your protein shake, um, coffee, tea, things like that. I know people that even drink it with a little water. That seems hard, but <laughs> if you could do it, that's great. Um, another thing is if I need a snack, uh, and I, I know you may, especially at the beginning, when we start our 30 day challenge, March 8th, um, what I would recommend uh, for a snack would be um, either cut up cucumber, celery, a half an avocado, or bone broth. So a great brand is the Kettle and Fire Organic Bone Broth. It uh, tastes really good and it gives you a lot of electrolytes and minerals so it prevents you from feeling too sluggish. Uh, and some of the vitamins that I have taken over the past year being on keto um, that have enabled me to lose 60 pounds are D3, zinc, uh, acryl oil, magnesium, and nutritional yeast. Instead of taking B vitamins, I actually take nutritional yeast pills uh, just from any grocery store and I grind them up and I throw them in the protein shake. So that is a better form of B vitamins if, if you choose to take that. So these are some of the supplements that I think might be able to help you as you start to look towards changing uh, your life and going on our 30 day challenge where we are going to really scale back of any sugar and processed and packaged foods, um, alcohol, and of course, the heavy carbs. So I hope you're having a great day and I hope that this is something that will be helpful to you. And uh, if you need to, you know, get in contact with me, I am Global Jane on Instagram, Jane Mitten on YouTube and Facebook, Norsk, at Norsk Jane on Twitter, uh, my website, janemitten.com. And if you need to send me an email, globaljane at gmail. Feel free to reach out. I am happy to help. I am hoping to change a lot of people's lives by showing everyone the wonderful thing that is the keto lifestyle. Have a great day.